Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Donald takes 1.6 billion dollars and 4,000 jobs from overseas, gives it to Southern State. President Trump has done an amazing job at ensuring that Americans are treated best first and foremost. That Americans are given first consideration in the job market, that Americans are given priority over illegal aliens. Which is exactly why President Trump worked to get a Toyota Mazda plant in Alabama. It will cost approximately $1.6 billion. This will mean that jobs will be created and new business will be invigorated. Breitbart News reported. On Wednesday at an event at the RSA Activity Center, Governor K. I. V. R. Al. Made it official when she announced Toyota Mazda would be building a $1.6 billion factory in northern Alabama's Limestone County outside of Huntsville. Today is indeed a great day in the state of Alabama, Ivy proclaimed. As governor, it is my honor and privilege to announce that Mazda and Toyota have chosen Alabama as the home of their new production plant. The announcement was met with a stand ovation just blocks from the Alabama state capitol, where legislators are convening the state's annual legislative session. The plant will add 4,000 new jobs with average salaries of $50,000 annually and the plant will have the capacity to produce 300,000 cars annually. The governor touted the state's talented workforce and the partnership that gave the state the spotlight. The partnership between Toyota and Mazda will expand innovative automotive manufacturing in Alabama, Ivy said. Their decision to locate this new facility in Huntsville is a testament to the talented workforce in our state. We are proud that this partnership puts Alabama on the forefront of technology in this dynamic global industry. The Mazda Toyota announcement is accompanied by additional good news for the Yellowhammer state. A day earlier in her State of the State address at the Capitol, Ivy announced firearms manufacturer Kimber was building a facility in nearby by Troy, Alabama. News of our economic successes seem to be a daily occurrence, Ivy said. In fact, I am proud to announce this evening that Kimber Firearms will build a $38 million production facility in Troy, bringing with it 366 new jobs. These are good, high-paying jobs, and will enable more of our citizens to provide for their families while taking part in the rich history of the Second Amendment. We are proud and honored to welcome Kimber to Alabama. This also comes at a time when the United States auto industry sales are in a downturn. In 2017, New vehicle sales decreased 2% after it had hit an all-time high the previous year. It does not take into consideration the anticipated tax and incentive package associated with a potential infrastructure package. This new factory could help to alleviate these problems, Reuters reported. A Toyota spokesman declined to comment, except to say an announcement was expected soon. A Mazda spokeswoman also declined to comment. In recent months, the companies had narrowed their choices down to sites in Alabama and North Carolina. Local media last month said the leading site under consideration was in northern Alabama's Limestone County, near Toyota's large engine plant in Huntsville. In September Toyota announced a $106 million technology upgrade for the Huntsville plant. A Chamber of Commerce of Huntsville website for the Huntsville megasite touts the fact it has been certified as development ready. The Commerce Chamber, local and state officials declined to comment on Tuesday on plans for the plant. A year ago. President-elect Trump criticized Toyota and threatened hefty tariffs against the Japanese automaker if it built its Corolla sedan for the U.S. market in Mexico. Toyota Motor said will build a new plant in Baja, Mexico, to build Corolla cars for U.S. No way. Build plant in U.S. or pay big border tax, Trump posted on Twitter in early 2017. Toyota and Mazda announced plans for a new plant in August. Toyota said it would shift production of Corollas from Canada to the new venture rather than in Guanajuato and would build Tacoma pickups in Mexico instead. Mazda plans to build new crossover SUVs at the plant. Trump praised the joint venture announcement, saying in August on Twitter, Toyota and Mazda to build a new $1.6 billion plant here in the USA and create 4K new American jobs. A great investment in American manufacturing. In October, Toyota said it would scale back investment in a planned plant in Mexico by 30% to $700 million and cut planned annual capacity in half to 100,000 vehicles as it shuffles its production plans to meet market demands. Toyota has 10 U.S. plants in eight states and an arc running from West Virginia through Kentucky, Indiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Texas. Toyota and Mazda announced a capital alliance in August and are exploring joint development of technologies for the basic structure of competitive electric vehicles. What is even more powerful about this new development is that it has been placed in the South. While Boston, Washington, D.C., New York City, 
and the larger cities along the coast have had their economies reinvigorated many parts of the Midwest and the South have suffered. This will be an amazing opportunity for those in rural communities to get job opportunities. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.